Hello and welcome to Fusion Connect's Microsoft Teams Call Recording Admin Portal Overview Video. In this video, we'll cover you as an admin, how you can log in to your admin call recording portal to view call recordings, email call recordings, and manage those call recordings, meaning delete them, and how you can edit call recording options for your users. Your admin portal experience will begin by you, the admin, receiving an email from noreply at dubber.net. The title will be, your Dubber account requires your attention. It'll ask you to confirm your email address by clicking this button. Clicking will allow you to set up your password for your call recording portal. Note that this link will expire within one business day. Now that I've set my password, it lands me to the login page. Your user login will be your email address and your set password. If you happen to forget your password, you can click forgot your password and another email will be sent to your email address, allowing you to reset that password. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Logging into your admin portal, you will see the actual recordings that your Teams users have made. In other words, your users, whether they're recording all their calls or they have a pause and play or pause and record option, those recordings are housed within this portal. As you can see, you have a play button. You have an icon here that shows the recording information it will show the persons that attended that call. You can share this by email, sending multiple email addresses, and then you can actually put into the message, edit the message, the subject, etc. And then checking off, you do understand that as you're sharing the recording box, you click share and it sends this recording as an email. Another option is you can tag a recording. So every recording within your portal, you can tag it for easy understanding of what that recording was, what it pertained to. So I can tag this one as call recording training and click save. Now it's tagged. I know what this recording is about. It's pertaining to a call recording training. If you wish to remove that tag, go to tags and simply delete it and hit save. Another option is you can actually download the recording. Clicking download will download this to your PC and you can also delete the recording. Above, you can make that recording a favorite by checking its star. You can also select by clicking its checkbox and now you can download multiple recordings at the same time or add tags to multiple recordings at the same time or delete at the same time. Playing a recording, if they have video capability, it will play that recording. In video, you can see the actual video recording of this recording. You can see here whether they were a video recording or an actual audio only recording by the icon here. To the right, you have a wheel that's your home screen, your recordings basically are the same page. You have an account option which gets you into your actual account as you as an admin. You have your own profile, and then you have the downloads. The downloads that you've actually downloaded to your PC will be found here in your downloads. So clicking downloads, I have none, but understand that they would be here in this section for you to grab those. You also have a help version and logout to log out of your portal. So on the bottom of your page, you have multiple pages that you select, each page holding 20 recordings. As an administrator, if you wish to manage your actual recording options for your personnel, going back to your account option from your settings wheel. Within accounts, you have your people, which are your users. Within a user, you can click its settings option and you can change that user from a standard user to an administrator if you choose to. You can also change their username login as well as their name within the dashboard of your portal. You can also reset a password as well. So if this user is no longer here, I can put in a new username, click reset password, a new password will be set to this email address. Um, and now I have a brand new user, you know, getting these recordings. You can also delete users from here. So under your people tab, under your account, you can actually hit the trash can to delete an actual user. Within Teams, you can actually create additional Teams for categorization if you'd like to put specific users within a specific team. Here we have all users at this team 5645. That's the name of the team that we've named it, but you can add additional teams again if you like and actually categorize your users into those specific teams for categorization. Your API option, it's gonna uh, give you an authentication ID as well as an authentication token. Both of these options will be needed for your admin configuration portal. The admin configuration portal can be found here teams.na.dubber.net. Putting this into your web browser, teams.na.dubber.net, it'll be at a landing page. It'll ask you to get started. Click the get started. You'll actually select your actual region of the world. So I'm gonna choose United States. 
I'm going to put in your authentication ID from your prior portal. So under API, your authentication ID and your authentication token are found within your main admin portal under account. Accounts under API. This information will be added here. You click Authorize Dubber. From here, you're going to enter your tenant ID of your actual Microsoft tenant. And then the associated Azure ID is going to be the name of your company. And then your Azure account ID domain name is going to be the name of your company dot on Microsoft dot com. So the name of your company dot on Microsoft dot com. Click next. This is where in your admin portal, you can actually edit your actual user settings, whether you want them to be able to you know, manually record their own calls, whether you want all calls recorded, et cetera. And then as a hierarchy, your actual tenant settings, change the tenant recording settings. So here I can click tenant settings. And then from here, you can see within my entire account that I allow all calls to resume and pause. So in other words, a tenant, a user of mine would actually in their team's PC app, they, will, they are allowed to actually pause and play and record on, on will their calls. This is across the board. If I wanna go back here, I can actually change the user recording settings by clicking user settings. And here you will see the list of your users that you see here under people. So your users under your admin configuration tab, you'll see your users and you have an edit option. So here for Mitch, I'll hit edit. And from here is where I can actually manually change his settings for call recording. I can override, so I'm allowing him to pause and resume calls for call recordings. And then I'm also allowed, allowing him to record video. If I don't want this option, I can actually turn it off. Okay, and override with default. Um, here I, for override account defaults to auto start. So now I can auto start here all of his all of his recordings are being recorded and I can actually do that here for external parties. Choosing all recorded calls gives you the option of, you know, basically turning on all calls. That means for external parties, all recorded meetings and recording any PSTN call. So he has no control over his calls. His calls are being recorded here. He does have access. So if I uncheck these, allow him to pause and resume calls and I allow him the video. Back to square one, if you notice here, there is no save. So this is on the fly changes. So I'm actually changing these settings as I go. There is no save. You can do this with any of your users by clicking the edit option. Going back, so you can add to existing policies that you have or remove them from recording policies that you have. And here is your AD sync. Top right corner, you can log out of this portal, going back to your main portal, for an administrator and you can click log out here. This concludes this training. Thank you for joining.